I'm going to show you how to do simple, easy, effortless care surgery. You know, CARES is perceived as more difficult than the forerunner operation intacts because with intacts, you just make one little incision in the cornea and slip these rigid segments into a channel. With CARES, the segments that you insert are pieces of collagen, and that collagen is gummy and pliable, so you can't just push it straight in. As a result, the original technique involved multiple incisions. You kind of shove it half the way in and pull it from the other side the other half the way. But this is a little fumbly and cumbersome, and it's an unfamiliar motion for a lot of surgeons, and I think that has discouraged some people from starting with cares who otherwise might. The other thing that might discourage people from picking up cares is the perception that you need a femtosecond laser to do the operation, but that's not true. You neither need a femtosecond laser, nor do you need to use these gummy segments and make multiple incisions to push and pull, shimmy them into the eye. This is a CARES operation that I did in our office probably an hour ago, and I want to show you the full five-minute length of the surgery to show you exactly how easy and simple this operation can be. Like I said, this patient is under topical anesthesia here in our office, done just down the hall in the clinic. I'm anesthetizing the eye here. This is a lidocaine soaked Wexel sponge that I'm placing against the bulbar conjunctiva in the infranasal quadrant. And I'm holding it there just for a few seconds to numb the conjunctiva there in preparation for a subtenon's block. I like to use one cc of bupivacaine either on its own or a liposomal formulation of bupivacaine, Expirel, which gives you a subtenon's block that lasts for three days. So if your patients tend to be a little bit more sensitive, you can consider a longer acting block. In this case, we're just using straight bupivacaine. Now you'll notice I'm holding the sponge there for about 30 seconds because this patient is a young male and these people tend to be a little bit more apprehensive and a little bit squeezy and this is a simple quick operation so it's no trouble just to delay the beginning of the operation while you hold this little wex cell there to anesthetize the surface of the eye once we have the subtenons block administered i'll show you how we're going to line up implantation of the segment make all of the incisions and put the segment in the key, which you'll observe later on in the case, is we're going to use stained with tripan blue and dehydrated segments. Dehydrating these pieces of collagen by letting them dry thins them tremendously and makes them rigid and thereby extraordinarily easy to insinuate into a corneal channel. So here comes our subtenons anesthesia. It's just one cc down in the infranasal bulbar quadrant of the eye. And once that's done, I'll rinse the surface of the eye off, and that prepares us to dry the corneal surface here with some Maricel sponges. I like Maricel as opposed to the normal compressed cellulose of a Wexel spear. And the reason is, is that the compressed cellulose of a Wexel is kind of crumbly and you can get bits of the wex cell into the corneal channel and those can be present after the operation and they're annoying and obnoxious to see. So I use a Maricel sponge which is not friable. This is a zone marker I'm using to make an epithelial impression and I'm dotting the center of that impression with basically a gentian violet inked Sinsky hook. This is a corneal marker also inked with gentian violet and I'm placing it on the eye to sort of outline the location of my incision and where my corneal channel will be. This is a guarded diamond micrometer knife and I'm setting the uh, incisional depth here to 70% of the measured thickness by pentacam of the cornea in the location of the planned incision. So here, this is a right eye. This is about 10 o'clock on the clock face. That's where this incision is going. So I know how deep the cornea is there. I measure 70% or I calculate 70% of that depth. And that's what I set the diamond knife to. So I make a simple one millimeter radial groove there at 70% of the measured depth. 
This is a suction ring, which I'm fitting to the surface of the eye. And this just holds the eye very securely for me to manually dissect a single channel in the cornea. So now I have the suction ring engaged. This is a pocketing hook, and I'm using it to sort of spread a little potential space down at the base of that one millimeter incision. And once I have that potential space dissected, I'll use what's called a symmetric glide in one hand in this corneal separator in the other hand. The symmetric glide goes into that pocket and lifts up so I can insinuate the corneal separator down underneath it and spin it around to sort of bluntly dissect this channel in the cornea. And you'll notice this is really quick. This is really easy. This doesn't require a femtosecond laser. The patient tolerates it well, and it's done. Okay, so now the channel is created. So our incision is made and the channel is made. Here are the care segments. There are two of them. They come like this already stained and dried now from the advancing site network. That's the eye bank that we use in Alabama. You can call them and you can request these corneal segments, these care segments. Look how ridiculously easy these are to insert. You feed them into the eye, they're perfectly flattened, they're stained brilliantly blue, and they feed into this corneal channel just as easy, if not easier, than an intact segment. So you push them in, and that's the whole surgery. The surgery is now completed. Isn't that shockingly, ridiculously easy? So if you are avoiding starting with CARES because you're worried that you don't have a laser and you don't know how to do the procedure and it's a little bit too much to worry about fumbling with this new technique with the new segments, let me allay all of your concerns. This is exactly the same operation as Intax now. You don't need a femtosecond laser to perform it and you can get these segments already stained blue, already dehydrated, for you from eye banks in the United States for use on your patients. So if you're waiting, I would just ask you, what exactly are you waiting for? This operation is for sure prime time, and if you haven't started with it, you better.